Hello guys, this is Cubin K again, and today I will introduce some tips for using Stack BB. The first thing that I show you is the infinite saving. Many people asked to me about why your fire fire shop isn't disappear from your saving slot. First, use continual focus and fire with click right button of mouse then your focus level go through to fourth level if if do all of this in fast it seems like this continue focus fire and save you see it? and next is using the second focus from Frank Sparrow this is very 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 good skill in battle or soloing. So you must always think when you avoid the boss's attack with flying sparrow, shoot press your right button after sparrow. Just after. So you must learn and train these skills and try to use your third or fourth focus skills. If you avoid with your sparrow, don't forget to use third or fourth level of skills. Next is running. Revamped Step EV became really fast runner. She's almost fast like Herc, so you should know the running skills for clear the field dungeons fast. The basic is the hop. Hop isn't used as stamina anymore, so you can hop in when your stamina is gone away. Next is Sparrow. You already know the Sparrow's reach is elongated, but the Sparrow costs some stamina. So it is hard to use infinite flying Sparrow, so you should use flying Sparrow with your hop. Like this. You see that stamina isn't gone very fast. So the basic is hope, hope, and sparrow. Hope, hope, sparrow, hope, hope, sparrow, hope, hope, sparrow. If you want to go more fast, using the mask arrow cancel, the hope just after sparrow should be used with mask arrow cancel. Hope, Hop, Sparrow, Mask Arrow, Cancel, Hop, Hop, Sparrow Hop, Hop, Sparrow, Cancel, Hop Why? Why am I? Freely modify this tactic Fit your stamina restoration And your stamina capacity And next is Raise Utilization uh, You might see some videos in my YouTube Like starting with Raise It is really easy just see this and follow this. Let's see. Every bosses have intro video, so you can use this time. When seeing intro video, press Alt and click your quick slow race and wait. And Then you can start with race. This timing is different with many characters because of their attack speed. So you should know your raid's casting speed by clicking the quick slot. So you should move your raise icon from the skill tab to quick slot and check the time that how much time that she used for casting the raise. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just check the time until she finished the casting. Best way is check the time, but <coughs> you can also hearing the sound of starting race like King. Then skip the intro video and final race to boss. <clears throat> then I will show the starting race with my time 7 seconds. Let's see. Remember, 
and don't forget your time. Go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, go! Yeah! Very well! <laughs> you can easily be skilled with following your timing. So don't forget your timing and use your raise with starting. Remember if it's the critical point in dealing is raise. You should use your raise with within time. Raise have 2 minutes and 30 seconds cooldown time. So you should check your raise cool time. So not only for starting raise, but also we should know the raise cooldown time. So we must drop our raise icon to the quick slot. Because of this, you should check the raise time. And when raise cooldown almost 30 seconds left, you should prepare the force level for the skills. Please prepare your force level skills and use continual focus when raise cooldown lapses only 5 seconds. Then you can use your next raise when raise cooldown time is 0. So don't forget the raise cooldown is coming and prepare and fire your raise with no wait. Her dealing amount, her damage dealing amount in party is almost because of the race. And the last thing is fire mastery stack. We should use our fire skills in really 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 compact cycle. Original cooldown time of fire shock is 15, but the revamped continual focus can reduce your fire shock's cooldown. The cooldown reducing amount is 5 seconds, so your fire shock's cooldown time is be 10 seconds. And this is need some special awakened stone to reducing the cooldown time 5 seconds. Then your fire shock's cooldown and continual focus's cooldowns are same. Your fire shock and continual focus is synchronized. And it'll be easy to manage your fire shock's cooldown time and the continual focus's cooldown time. Don't forget use your continual focus and fire shock in one time in 10 seconds. And don't forget your race and during the 10 seconds cooldown for fire shock. You can use it very freely your skills. If you need some stamina, you can use your lightning skills. And if your fire skills are all delayed, you can use ice skills instead of fire. The best way to build is fire, but it'll be hard to use the full-time fire skills. Don't too much be restricted by it. Just remember, you should use your fire shock as fast as you can. Thank you for watching my dealing guide and, and take the first place of party but always don't forget your healing pearl and restorations is really good skills and many people like your restoration and healing pearl. Raise and healing pearl school time is same so if you want don't forget the, your healing pearl time use raise and use healing pearl when raise is finished then many people like your dealing Finally, your Eevee. They will love your Eevee. Thank you for hearing my subsective tips. Bye bye. See you later.